Did you know that more people travel between New York and Washington, D.C. by train than by airplane? That's right, and now the critical rail line connecting these cities is about to get a massive upgrade with the $16.1 billion Hudson Tunnel project. This project aims to build a brand new, state-of-the-art tunnel and revamp a 107-year-old tunnel under the Hudson River. It's set to revolutionize travel between New York and New Jersey, boost the regional economy, and create thousands of jobs. But what exactly does this mean for the future of transportation in the Northeast Corridor? And how will it impact your daily commute? Stay tuned to find out. Let's dive into the monumental Hudson Tunnel project. This ambitious undertaking involves constructing a 2.3-kilometer twin-tube tunnel between New York and New Jersey and refurbishing a 107-year-old tunnel under the Hudson River. Leading this massive project is the Gateway Development Commission, or GDC, a U.S. government-backed authority. In 2023, the project received a significant boost with a $6.9 billion federal grant from the Federal Transit Administration. And just when you thought it couldn't get any bigger, another $3.8 billion in federal funding was announced, bringing Washington's total contribution to over $11 billion. That's about 70% of the project's cost. New York and New Jersey will cover the remaining expenses, showing their commitment to this critical infrastructure. Despite this recent financial backing, efforts to build a new tunnel and ease rail congestion between these states have been in the works since the 1990s. However, political battles caused significant delays. For example, a previous tunnel project, fully funded and under construction, was canceled in 2010 by then New Jersey Governor Chris Christie due to budget concerns. The Gateway project was proposed a year later but stalled during the Trump administration, further highlighting the political challenges. Then came 2012, when Superstorm Sandy wreaked havoc on the transit infrastructure, flooding the East and North River tunnels that connect New Jersey, Manhattan, and Long Island. This flooding not only halted rail service temporarily, but also exposed the vulnerabilities in the aging infrastructure. A lack of redundancies and resilience in this over-century-old network became glaringly apparent. The Gateway Program, which succeeded the cancelled Access to the Region's Core or ARC project, aims to address these issues highlighted by Superstorm Sandy while also expanding capacity and enhancing the network's resilience. But here's where things get exciting. Biden's infrastructure law allocated an additional $8 billion over five years for the Federal Transit Administration's Capital Investment Grant Program, with the Gateway Project high on the priority list. Earlier in 2023, Biden's administration earmarked $292 million from the bipartisan infrastructure law to kickstart a crucial early phase of the project. All systems are a go, Senator Schumer declared. There's no turning back now. This massive endeavor aims to create a new passenger rail link between New York and New Jersey. The Gateway Development Commission recently shortlisted three impressive teams for the Manhattan Tunnel portion, inviting them to submit design-build proposals. So what's on the agenda for these teams? The scope of work includes intricate mine tunneling using a sequential excavation method starting from West 30th Street, passing under Hudson River Park, and breaking through the bulkhead on the west side of Manhattan. But that's not all. The contract also involves ground stabilization along the tunnel alignment, work on two construction shafts, and underpinning a sewer. Quite the engineering feat, right? Now let's talk about the big players. Gateway, a joint commission formed by New York and New Jersey, is at the helm of this project, driving rail infrastructure improvements between Newark and Manhattan. According to their notice, the shortlisted teams include a joint venture of Frontier Kemper Constructions, Inc., Tudor Perenni Corp., and Hyundai America, Inc., a team of Helmar International, LLC, and FCC Construction, Inc., and a joint venture of Skanska USA Civil Northeast, Inc., Trailer Brothers, Inc., and Walsh Construction Co. 2, LLC. These are some heavy hitters in the construction world, ensuring the project is in capable hands. But why is this project so crucial? The ultimate goal is to build a 2.4-mile-long two-tube tunnel to enhance rail service reliability along Amtrak's Northeast Corridor. This new tunnel will alleviate the strain on the aging North River tunnels, which currently serve as the only Hudson River crossing for passenger trains between northern New Jersey and New York Penn Station. And here's the plan. Once the new tunnel is up and running, the North River tunnels will be temporarily closed for some much-needed TLC and rehabilitation. Now let's get into the nitty-gritty of the Manhattan Tunnel section. 
This part of the tunnel will connect to another section running under the Hudson River between New York and Hoboken, New Jersey, which will be awarded under a separate contract. Last August, Gateway shortlisted three teams to stabilize the riverbed before tunneling can begin. And just in case that wasn't enough, five teams were shortlisted last October for the New Jersey Palisades Tunnel portion, with proposals due later this year. But that's not all. Another contract will cover the full tunnel fit-out, and Gateway is also close to selecting its delivery partner. This partner will assist with various planning and management services across the project, ensuring everything runs smoothly. In the meantime, construction on two other non-tunnel contract packages is already underway. One involves building a concrete casing at Hudson Yards in Manhattan, and the other covers the construction of a bridge to carry an existing road over the planned rail right-of-way approaching the New Jersey Tunnel Portal. This meticulous planning and construction work underscores the complexity and scale of the project, scheduled for completion in 2038. However, there's a twist. An audit performed for the U.S. Department of Transportation's Transit Administration suggests that the work might extend until 2040. The audit pointed out some significant challenges, including the need for substantial staffing, awarding massive contracts, and doing considerable prep work due to the complicated Hudson River geography. The project could face even more delays if these steps aren't taken soon. So what does this tunnel mean for the regional economy? Well, according to James Hughes, professor and dean emeritus of the Edward J. Bluestein School of Planning and Public Policy at Rutgers University, the current Northeast Corridor rail line isn't quite up to European high-speed rail standards, yet it still manages to carry more passengers between New York and Washington, D.C. than airlines do. It's critical for moving people up and down the corridor, Hughes explains. So it's extraordinarily important to the regional economy. The regional economy is the largest part of the U.S. economy. Essentially, the tunnel will enhance mobility and convenience for commuters, making it vitally, vitally important. A key benefit of the new tunnel is that it will provide redundant capacity. This means that one tunnel can be taken out of service for maintenance without significantly disrupting the daily commute along the Northeast Corridor, which is one of the busiest rail routes in the country. According to the Gateway program, the Northeast Corridor supports 800,000 passenger trips daily and serves a region home to 17% of the U.S. population and 97 Fortune 500 company headquarters. The long-standing efforts of officials from New York and New Jersey highlight the significance of this project. For decades, they've advocated for new tunnels under the Hudson River to tackle overcrowded trains, which often suffer delays due to breakdowns and tight schedules. At the same time, traffic congestion at existing tunnels and the George Washington Bridge has only gotten worse. A report released by the Regional Plan Association supports this view, projecting that the Hudson Tunnel project will generate $19.6 billion in economic activity and create approximately 95,000 jobs during its construction. Hughes acknowledges that predicting the exact number of jobs and the amount of economic activity generated can be challenging, but he emphasizes that this will undoubtedly be one of the largest infrastructure construction projects ever. Backing this sentiment, Sigmund agrees that the project is crucial because it provides Jersey residents with access to quality, reliable rail transportation. This is essential as many people rely on it to commute to work and enjoy entertainment. However, the path to achieving this reliable transportation is not without its challenges. The Hudson River and Manhattan tunnels present significant design issues due to the shallow cover, poor ground conditions along the Hudson River, and the dense urban environment on the Manhattan side of the alignment. These factors add complexity to the project, but also highlight the importance of modernizing and improving this critical infrastructure. With all the exciting developments and immense benefits on the horizon, we can't wait to see how this project will unfold. What are your thoughts on this massive infrastructure project? Do you think it will revolutionize travel as promised? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this and other groundbreaking projects.